Hi everyone. I am Pooja Somshekar from Contents Dynamics. Today, I am going to talk about DDLC and its phases. DDLC stands for Document Development Life Cycle. Document Development Life Cycle is a process of activities performed throughout the development of documents. By following this process, technical writer enhances the quality, accuracy and delivery time of the documents and also improves the user acceptance of products and services. There are 6 stages in DDLC. They are requirement analysis and planning, design, content development, review or proofreading, publishing and maintenance. So the first phase is requirement analysis and planning. In this phase, technical writer gathers useful materials about the project and analysis and understand all the information about the project. Also get the requirements about the project. The first main thing in this phase is a technical writer should know their target audience. What level of knowledge they have about products or services. Are they internal employees or the external end users? If they are external end users, they possess zero knowledge about the product or services. But if they are an internal employees, they intend to have knowledge about the product and services. In this stage, there is also planning done on which tools to be used in order to create a document. Say for example, which authoring tools or tools which are required to take the screenshot or video capturing tools, translation tools, etc. Document delivery deadline is also planned in this process. So the next phase is design. In the design phase, the main focus is on the format of the document, the layout and the styles which are required to create a document. In this phase, the technical writer will also know about approximately how many pages should be the document, what should be the format and what are the styles to be used in order to present the document. The third phase is content development. In this phase, the technical writer starts writing the document. This will generally doesn't take much time because maximum time is spent on research, analysis and information gathering in the first and second step. When you have a plan, strategy and required information, writing down the document doesn't take much time. Create a TOC, table of contents, to avoid the redundant content or draft the document in order. Next phase is review, editing or proofreading. After creating a document, a technical writer should do a self review to check if there are any grammatical error or if there are any mistakes in the spellings. Then the document is sent to the peer for the review where the grammatical mistakes, format, layout, spell checks are done by the peer and the technicality is checked by the SMEs or the developers. Proofreading is the final testing where the entire document is checked for its format, layouts, grammatical error and technicality. In this phase, the entire draft is checked to eliminate errors and create a clear and understandable document. So, after review, the next step is publishing. Generally, the documents are published digitally as online help or printed copies which goes along with product or the software. The last phase is maintenance. Here the technical writer update the document and create a version based on the modification in the project. If any new product is launched in the market or any feature is added then the technical writer will update the document accordingly. Hope you like the content. Please show your support by subscribing to our channel and please hit bell icon to get notifications.